What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It is indeed me, 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 the BRE, the man in the backwards hat. Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society, coming out of my semi-retirement for one time here. Well, there'll be other times, but one time today anyway, uh, to check out the latest creation from Coca-Cola Creations, limited edition, Move. All right, so check it out with its pink and kind of red and white kind of design. You got a black outline right there. There you go. And apparently, according to this, it's supposed to be transformative, whatever that means. Um, transformation flavored is what they say. So anyway, um, yeah, you remember uh, most recently they had the Coca-Cola Dream World Edition. And then also my favorite, and possibly my favorite soda of all time, so I'm sad that it's not around all the time, it's Coca-Cola Starlight. That is an amazing soda, and I wish they would bring that back. Um, I didn't like the Dream World as much, and you may have seen in my most recent video, which is, that's what I, I uh, reviewed the Dream World, and it was not that good. Um, didn't like it that much. It was okay, I guess, but... It tasted kind of like mangoes or berries or something. It was kind of a weird thing. I don't know. But I'm going to check out Move today. And maybe it'll get me moving. Hear that little bit of fizz releasing right there from the Coca-Cola bottle. Wish it was in a glass bottle. But, you know, you can get the Mexican Coke that way if you really want to. Let me check it out. Well, it's cold and refreshing, that's for sure. Wow. But it hits you over the head with a particular flavor right away. Let me take another quick hit of this. Wow. Okay. So, hmm. I heard a rumor from cameraman Alex of what he thought the flavor was. But, uh... I'm not a hundred percent on board with his, uh, you know, uh, theory there. I think that my thoughts on this, and excuse me if I'm being a little slow, I haven't done this in a little while. Um, it hits you over the head with a coconut flavor. Pretty much, that's about all you can taste. I don't even really taste cola behind it. Um, I just taste coconut. Alex was saying maybe pina colada. I don't think so exactly because I don't really taste any pineapple. It doesn't have a tang or anything to it. It's just straight up coconut. Yeah. And I like coconut. I like it on a candy or, uh, you know, even a little bit by itself is fine. Shredded coconut or whatever. Um, but one thing that comes to mind is dryness. And at first, I was you know satisfied by the coldness of the product but i don't think it's going to be very thirst quenching because coconut you know it is a little bit moist but it's got that dry bleh, bleh, bleh feeling i don't know what that means bleh, bleh, bleh. but yeah i don't like coconut that much in a drink other than pina colada and it's got to be like in slurpy form for sure um yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this coconutty tasting drink. And I really can't say much more about it. It's got its uh, carbonation, certainly. It's got its uh, coldness, if you put it in the refrigerator. But uh, beyond that, it's just got a bunch of coconut going on. And they should have just called it Coca-Cola, like they already call it, because it's coconut. Right? No, I'm just joking. Um, but it is very coconutty, and I'll go ahead and give it a five-eighths of a thumbs up and I think that's about what I gave the um, dream world edition but no I'm not really digging this and don't think I'll be drinking it for the next several months and we'll be seeing lots of the mini can uh, cases probably left behind in the supermarket just like the dream world was getting 
Not the starlight, because people like the starlight. Anyway, I don't remember what the first one was because I was in a coma during that time. So let's not uh, think about that time period. And also, uh, thanks to everybody who's reached out to me in the past couple of months. Uh, if you don't know, I lost my wife back in November. You might have seen another review by now, if not for that. But um, yeah, I've been, you know, obviously in the uh, grieving process and whatnot. And uh, I just wanted to thank everybody for checking out this video today. Thanks for being with me. Thanks for all the condolences and well wishes and thoughts and prayers and all that good stuff. I really do appreciate it, believe it or not. And uh, that's part of the reason why I'm doing this today is to give back to you. Because um, you guys always give back to me. Anyway, I will be here sometime again in the future. And I'll always be where you can find me on Twitter at Brandon Reich SAS. Instagram too, even though I don't post there a whole lot. And... You can click on the link below to get to our Patreon page if you want to. I'm not really doing a lot right now, so, you know, I'm not really expecting a lot. But if you just want to chip in a few ducats and encourage me to do videos, then, uh, yeah, you can do that too. So give it a goo and check out the Snack Society videos on YouTube, on our channel. And, like I always said, in the meantime, in between time, we will see you next time, whenever that may be. Love you guys. Bye.